bitch, put your hands up high. Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. It's your girl Kelly Kells and I am back with another mother freaking video. So as you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this Water Wave 13x4 wig. So the brand is called Sweet Girl. I'll put all their information in the description box so you guys can definitely shop with them. I don't know if they got their own personal website. I do believe they're only on Amazon. But if I do find their personal link, I'll definitely put that. I'll put all, everything will be in the description box. Don't worry, I got y'all. But yeah, so I don't want to talk too much. Um... I'll definitely give you guys like a little bit of more details at the ending of the video. So if you want more details on this hair, on this wig, the texture, the density, all of that stuff will be in the ending of the video. So make sure you watch through the whole video and don't skip. I just want to tell y'all these curls is so bomb and I legit didn't put anything. I didn't put no mousse, no curling cream, nothing. And this is literally just the curls with water. Before we get started, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below how you guys think I did with the install. And subscribe. We are on the road to 700 subscribers. And then 1,000. <laughs> oh, when I get 1,000 subscribers, I just might do a giveaway. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get your opinion. If y'all want me to do a giveaway, if I get feedback... Then I'll do it. If I don't get no feedback, I'm not doing it because then it makes no sense. I'll be doing a giveaway with one person. All right, y'all. Let's go. Hey, guys. So this is the bag that the hair came in. This is the hair that I received. It had two combs on the side and one in the back. And then attached came an instruction manual on how to take care of the hair. The washing instructions. Also received an edge brush, which I really needed. <laughs> A wide tooth comb and a pack of wig caps. So first of all, we're not going to come for my wig cap. Yes, I know it's a little bit behind my hairline, but I refuse to redo it because I just was not in the mood. I just wanted to get it over with. But anyways, I'm putting my first layer of glue. I believe that is ghost bond glue. I'll put a picture of the glue. And I'm just spreading the ghost bond glue across my forehead, my hairline, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and just making sure it's evenly distributed so that when it's time to lay the wig, I won't have any issues. And I'm basically putting the glue where I want my wig hairline to be. So now I'm blow drying the glue until it gets clear so that it can get tacky and I can start applying my second layer. I was blow drying it on a warm setting. I know some people use a cool setting. I don't really know the difference but if you do please comment down below. So this is me applying like my fifth layer of glue. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Whenever I do three layers of glue, I don't know if I don't use enough. But my wig never sticks, especially on the sides. So I was like, I didn't want to have that problem. So I ended up doing like four or five. But my fifth layer, I made sure that it was very light dots. So it was like a very light layer. Just enough so that I know for sure it will stick. You bitches is mess. See, let's see. After all that surgery, you were still ugly, and that is what gets me. So now I'm just putting my wig in front of my wig cap and putting it where I laid my glue. So I do usually cut my lace into three pieces, one on the left side, one on the right, and one in the middle to make it easier for me when it's time to lay the wig. But I don't know, when I get in front of a camera, sometimes I just forget the things that I do. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like you guys, especially if you're a beginner, you should cut your lace into three pieces before laying it down so that it can be easier to lay it and you can lay it piece by piece. Right. 
So I'm just hot combing my hair to the back so that it's not in the way for when I'm cutting my lace. And I'm not going to lie, this may seem like an unnecessary step to some people, but this is very important because when I wasn't doing it before, the hairs would get stuck in the glue when I started cutting my lace so it would be hard to get them off. And it would just end up being a whole hot mess. So I really recommend y'all to make sure that you hot comb your hair to the back. So now I'm just cutting off the air tabs, which is that extra piece of lace that is way below your ears. <laughs> So I'm just putting my elastic band around my lace and this is to make sure that my lace melts into the glue so when I do cut it I have like a seamless hairline and I won't have to worry about the lace lifting on it, the sides or the front. So I end up cutting my lace into three sections to make it easier for me when I start razoring it. And I do know that I did not pluck my hairline the best, but I am still a beginner and I'm still learning. So I'm just getting better within time. So don't come for me in the comments. Love y'all. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I am razoring as close to my hairline, my wig hairline as possible so that I don't have too much leftover lace. So now I'm just going in with some ebon and this is like another got to be glue free spray except this is way better because it doesn't leave any white residue. Um, so yeah, spraying this just ensures that your lace will definitely not lift so it gives it that extra extra security. And after I finish spraying this, I put my elastic band on so that the lace can lay nice into the glue if that makes sense it makes sense and yes I am aware that the lace seems to be really lighter than me but don't worry I end up fixing that problem because even Deja was like <laughs> um is it supposed to be that light so I definitely knew it was way too light if she's saying something <laughs> I originally wanted to wear the wig in like a no part side part kind of thing um I'll probably put a picture of what I wanted to go for but being that 
I didn't really pluck the lace to the best of my abilities. I wasn't really feeling the way it was looking. I'm definitely going to try again with another wig though. But as y'all can see from the beginning, from the intro, I did end up going with a middle part. So right here, I'm just hot combing it one to the side because that's how I thought I was going to end up wearing it. But I obviously later on, I end up changing it and hot combing it in the direction that I want. Now I'm just pulling out the baby hairs where I want them to lay. Um, I just do two baby hairs on the side and then my two sideburns. Later on, I do end up doing like a little tiny baby hair underneath my swoops. But y'all gonna see that later on. So I'm hot combing my edges in a downward motion so that when it's time to flat iron them and curl them towards my face, they can lay better. I actually seen one of the YouTubers that I watch do this, so I decided to do it and it actually really helps. And one thing about me, I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> it didn't leave a mark, but... Yes, I'm sure we've all been there. So I feel like the two most important things when making a wig is a hot comb and an elastic band. Those are literally going to be your two best friends. I'm going to go back in with my elastic band after hot combing my edges and just put it again to make sure that my lace is laid, like laid, laid. <laughs> I'm taking it off now and I'm going to take my scissors and start razor cutting. It's not really a razor cutting, but it's like a sheer. I don't really know how to explain it, but y'all gonna see. Um, I cut my baby hairs so that the front is shorter than the end of the baby hair. So when I'm curling my baby hairs with my flat iron, I curl them towards my face because I feel like that helps to create the baby hairs that I like. I feel like it gives it more like of a natural look. I don't really like curling them away from my face because I find them harder to lay. But that's just my opinion to each his own. If you guys like curling them away from your face, then stick with that method. Just make sure that you're taking the flat iron and curling them really slowly. You don't wanna just swoop. Make sure you go nice and slow with it. So I use got to be glue on my edges. I don't use the spray, I use the gel. Um, I tried Gorilla Glue, didn't work. Tried Freeze Spray Mousse, didn't work. 
I just feel like this works the best out of those options but i am still on a search for something that works even better if y'all know please comment down below something that i could use that could help lay my edges for more than a week <laughs> I've seen another hairstylist do this, um, but I'm just holding my baby hairs in place and blow drying them, hoping that this will help lay them for a good week, but it didn't, but at least I tried. I'm going to try again and again and again till I, you know, figure out what I'm doing wrong, because I know when I was getting my hair professionally done, my baby hairs were lasting for at least a week. It's no reason I'm doing my own hair. And my edges is only lasting two days. <laughs> So now to create that really, really flat middle part, this is what you're going to want to do. So listen closely. I start dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm almost done. I'm feeling myself. So first you're going to want to part your hair and get your wax stick, your favorite wax stick and your favorite hot comb. So first you're going to apply the wax stick to that part. And then you're going to get your hot comb and make sure that your hot comb is really hot. See how I'm putting some shrimp in it. I'm like literally combing at the hair. I'm not just trying to like swoop. I'm combing through the strands. Okay, you want to put a little force in it too because you really want your part to be flat. Okay, okay. You can go through it as many times as you want, but I go through it at least four to five times. And you're just going to repeat those steps for the next part. So I section off, I want to say about four to five pieces. And then I'm done.
Y'all, the smell of this, like I love the smell of this and I'll probably never stop using it. But also because when I use it, it just smells like when I was younger. Like, I guess when I, um, when they used to do my hair, they used to spray this in my hair. I don't know, but it just, when I smell it, it just triggers something from when I was younger and it just makes me happy. I don't know, it's so weird, but I just really love the smell and just the way the smell makes me feel. Like, I just want to share that real quick. Hey guys, so this is the ending result. As you guys can see, I decided to go with, um, is to put a little baby hair right here. My baby hairs is doing whatever they want right now. I might cut them a little shorter, I might not, I'm not too sure. Comment down below what you guys think I should do. Just don't be too harsh on me, y'all know I always say that. I'm sensitive, but I'm always open to criticism. Um, I am gonna fix this baby hair up because it's doing whatever it wants a little too much like it is feeling too much in control right now But for the sake of this video, <laughs> I'm not doing it right now So yeah, I do actually it took y'all these little little swirls you would think okay five minute tops It's yesterday. I started them and today I had to finish because they were just not conforming It took a lot of molding because the hair is so tiny. It's harder to swoop and then it's like a seek It's just it was a lot. I love these freaking curls y'all like I don't I can't stress that enough like The fact that I got this hair from an Amazon vendor and the curls look like that what's that company Ari B sponsoring Benny, Benny, Yanya. I don't, I don't, Benny, Yanya. I don't know, <laughs> but honey, it's given, it's given. I paid five hundred dollars for this. Week. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Who's telling me I paid what for what? No, five hundred, five hundred. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me get into the details. So it's hundred and fifty density. It's a twenty inch, and it's water wave. Um, thirteen by four frontal. Um, they say it's transparent, but it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest with y'all, it's not transparent. I did have a little bit of trouble, as you guys can see, with um, blending, and I did bleach the frontal, which took, I wanna say, took a very long time. And then even after, like the hour that it was sitting, I still felt like it could sit for some more, but I was getting impatient, I was ready to customize, get it all, get it together. So I just did that, um, I just took the bleach off, 
and just kind of try to do the best that I can. And I feel like I did a pretty good job. You know, I feel like I did. Honey, y'all, I only been installing my own front tools for a good five to four to five months. Like, who you know, boo? Who you know? I do want to thank Sweet Girl for sending me this wig. I really appreciate it. Like, what? Comment down below, like I said, what you guys think how I, about the wig, how I did, all of that good stuff. Because this is actually my first time installing a wig on camera. So, I've tried it before. That's why I totally forgot. I did try to install a wig on camera, I think twice. And it just didn't work out. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. So you guys can be notified every time I drop a video. Bye, my lovelies.